Uh, I'd like to spend a few minutes to talk about um, the Historic Preservation Trust of Pike County Incorporated, which was founded back in 95, set up as a 501c3, uh, with a, uh, a mission uh, to preserve sites and structures throughout Pike County. Um, the first effort of that uh, group was to, uh, to uh, create a National Register Historic District as outlined in the pink, uh, which picks up 72 contributing properties and a couple of monuments uh, in what is known as the traditional um, commercial district of the borough, um, brought in Hartford Streets. Uh, following that, uh, as we began to contemplate the potential uh, to expand the historic district uh, beyond that some 72 properties into uh, the 560 or 600 that represent all of the structures in Milford, uh, we thought it was, would be useful to field a survey uh, of the citizenry to try to get a pulse of how did the community feel about itself and how did it look at the priorities of importance in preserving and enhancing uh, the community. This study, which I will not go through in the latter five minutes, uh, details a great deal of that, but uh, the survey was uh, distributed to, by hand to everyone in the borough personally by the scouts. Uh, we got uh, a 31% response rate, which gave a great deal of statistical confidence to the uh, resulting analysis. Um, we were able to define a latent uh, and powerful interest in preserving the community, uh, both public and private buildings, uh, to a very high degree of confidence, I mean like 90%. That was very, very important at that point because there had been two attempts to put an architectural review process into Melford in the preceding decade, both of which were blown right out on the voting process and nobody wanted them. Uh, all of a sudden there was a change in attitude, because we had put a small historic district in, there was a feeling that, gee, the federal government isn't going to come in and decide whether I can have my toilet fixed or not. There's a great deal of suspicion associated with that. Uh, one of the next issues that came from the survey was a uh, powerful interest uh, in reconnecting with our environment in Milford. I've tried to draw in here with a little blue line. This is the Salt Hill Creek, goes down all this side. National Park is adjacent essentially to that. You come down to the Delaware River along here, and then to the Sandmantine, which runs almost along the border of this side of the town. So we're three quarters surrounded by water. Um, those old enough like I am to remember as a kid, uh, there were bridges and uh, picnic tables and easy access and hotels along the river with beaches and, and water activities and motorboat racing and all kinds of things that surrounded Melford. You could almost grow up here ten years ago and not know we were inside of water. <laughs> it just, the changes as the old hotels went and they were located close to water, as they went down that access uh, began to change and eroded away so that we lost something of, of that vital connection. Um, another issue that came strongly and had already been under being addressed for a number of years through the Shade Tree Commission was uh, the continual upgrade and planting of trees in Milford. We've been a tree city for decades. Uh, uh, it began with the, the local people going out once a year and the men would dig the maple trees out of the swamps and the, uh, the women would provide a big luncheon and it would be a volunteer thing involving dozens of people uh, renewing and redoing streets. We now have it in a more formalized way but a strong commitment to that. Uh, the issue uh, in the survey came back on sidewalks. Over the years uh, the, the initial gravel sidewalks for a variety of reasons uh, were paved over and essentially paved with asphalt. Those that were bluestone, if they became a little tippy, people took the bluestone out, threw it away, asphalt. Uh, and then the asphalt began to go from the curb to the storefront. Uh, almost, almost strip mall-like in character, almost trying to, 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 to build a, uh, 
a model of a, of a strip mall and to compete with the fear of the strip mall outside of the town kind of a concept. Uh, so that looked like it was a critical issue. Another issue that was addressed in the survey was the issue of signage. And it turned out that some 61 or 62 percent of the people in town did not really feel that signage contributed to a quality atmosphere for the town. Um, and there were a number of other points. I don't want to go through too much of that detail, but that became a base uh, and that, uh, that survey was originally sponsored by not only the trust, but the community house board, the borough council, the business co uh, council, the garden club, the enhancement committee, the Shady Commission, the historical society, and the Pinchot Institute. Uh, so there was a, a large group of, of signatories to, to, to doing that kind of a survey. Um, following that, uh, in, uh, we went ahead with the second district which uh, now brings the total of uh, Milford up to just under 70 percent, 67 percent of the structures in Milford are on the National Register of Historic Places. That, I'm sure, compares favorably with Charleston <laughs> in terms of numbers. Um, and we uh, implemented a plaque program. You'll see these when you see around town later, bronze plaques. Some of them are, are paragraph length of the history, others are uh, uh, just date and, and place. Um, and uh, move toward highway signage. We worked from the, with the state and the lo signing logo trust to put uh, attraction signs on Route 84 to bring people into the town. We worked with the Park Service and others to put uh, signage at more secondary roads that Melford uh, historic town, you know, one mile kind of a thing. Um, uh, and I've done a number of other minor uh, sorts of things. Uh, we. Uh, have conducted tours. We created the uh, walking tour guide that you see there. Um, the, the trust backed uh, the, the borough council significantly with the data that it had in encouraging the passing of an architectural review process, which has now been in place for a number of years. Uh, the more recent couple of projects, we've worked with the Park Service uh, in a partnership way uh, on the uh, METS old METS ice plant it may be the only existing water-powered ice plant in the United States and the Park Service has just completed a, a wonderful job of redoing the roof and the exterior of the building. Uh, the trust uh, partnered and, and one of its members uh, really gave uh, four or five years of his personal time two days a week in, in doing lots of things to try to uh, improve the property. Uh, and it was mentioned earlier by Ed, um, the, the trust uh, contacted the borough council and said, gee, we, we would love to see the borough hall um, uh, upgrade and we're willing to partner with you financially and otherwise and hopefully that has be, been a stimulus to the borough to, to begin that project. Uh, and the last point is in the Milford Enhancement Committee as they uh, sought to partner with the town, they needed a mechanism of handling funds from a charitable point of view, so that they could receive um, uh, both grants as well as outright uh, gifts and contributions uh, in a, uh, in a tax-free mode. So uh, the Enhancement Committee became a committee of the trust for the convenience of, uh, of that kind of an activity. And it brought the two groups uh, certainly into, into, into sync. Um, I think that gives enough of an overview 